So 32.3, we're going to talk about the or how to predict the volume of gas produced in the actualytic setup. Two setups we're going to cover today. So one will be Hoffman photometer, the other one will be the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution. So uh, for the volume of ratios of gas productions, we're going to have two examples. So one will be having our uh, H2 and O2 formation, while the other one will be H2 to Cl2 formation. So these two are typical setup that we're going to use. So the first one, okay, we'll have a Hoffman voltmeter. So uh, you better remember the spelling of this setup. So 1F and 2N, okay? And then this is not voltmeter. This is voltmeter, okay, with an A in the middle, okay? So uh, for this one, okay, uh, remember the several steps. Step one, we're going to have CAN, okay, we're going to have the chemical cell, anode negative so this one is the chemical cell the negative one so this one is the anode while this one is anode second step CACA -C -A. so you have A connected with C A and C so this one will be anode and the I and I will swim towards it okay step three okay it will be the iron table so in this case we're going to have sulfuric acid so we have H plus Sulfuric so acid, sulfate ion, H plus, and OH minus. Okay, so for the cation, you can find that H plus will be discharged. Okay, while the other one, OH minus and sulfate ion, remember this one is not reactive at all. So, all the times, no matter if it is sulfate or nitrate, normally they won't react, okay, because they are not a strong reducing agent. So, therefore, in this case, okay, OH minus will react. So, H2, they're going to form, uh, H plus will form H2, OH minus will form O2. So, uh, for the cation, cation, they're going to go to cathode. So, you find that the cathode will have H2 formation right there. While we have anion, they go to anode, okay? So therefore, the O2 will form right here, okay? So I'll repeat one more time. Kion, which is the H+, plus, they go to cathode, okay? And then we have the anion, which is the OH-, minus, they go to the anode, okay? Oh, so very quickly, we find that at cathode, I'll get the H+, plus, going to have react with the electrons and then they're going to have H2 while at N node we have OH minus remember 4 okay and then we have O2 H2O and then 4 electron okay so um, when we combine these to overall equation you'll find out the one above okay you've got two electrons right here you got four yet on here so the one above okay have to be multiplied by two so you have four h plus plus four oh minus and then you got two h2 o2 and then two h2o okay this one combined to become four h2o but remember on the right hand side you also got two so right here okay when you combine them you have this overall equation so this equation it tells you that we're going to have the H2O break down into hydrogen and oxygen. But one thing I want you to pay attention to is the uh, is a coefficient right here. So you got two, and you got one right here. So one thing okay, you haven't learned it yet, okay? But uh, we'll cover it in later chapters. What well, you have to just to remember is the mole ratio is equals to the volume ratio of gas remember this one only applicable to gas okay what means by that so right here when you see that x2 to o2 ratio is 2 to 1 why it is 2 to 1 because it's 2 in the coefficient 1 in the coefficient so 2 to 1 okay 2 to 1 so the volume ratio of it will also be 2 to 1 so volume of x2 to volume of o2 will also be 2 to 1. So what you need to do is, okay, for this area, okay, you'll find that H2 to O2. This one will be double the volume of O2 collected on the right-hand side. 
Okay, so how do you know that the volume of ratios of H2 to O2? It will depend on the overall equation and check the coefficient. Okay, if it's 2 to 1, then it is 2 to 1. Okay. Oh, second section. Okay, it will be second examples will be yeah, choices of corn and ACL. So again, this one, step one. Okay, you need to have C A N. So this one is negative, so this one is A C A C. Okay. Step two is A C A C C A C A. Okay. Okay, and then step three will be the iron table. So you will have H plus N A oh, sorry. Okay, you got H plus OH minus Na plus NCL minus. So choose which one we're going to discharge. So for the cation part, okay, uh, obviously H plus will discharge. Okay, because Na plus H plus, okay, you find that this one is a stronger away due to the position in ECS. Okay. And then we find that H plus is a stronger oxidizing agent, so it will preferentially discharge. While the other side, okay, you go OH minus and Cl minus. However, this one is a concentrated solution. So due to concentration effects, okay, the Cl minus is going to discharge. So what we have, okay, on the left hand side or for the uh, Cathro here, cathro with cat iron swim to it, cat iron swim to it. So what we have here will have H2 formation. Okay. While the other side, okay, you got anode, you got anion swim towards it. So therefore the Cl minus will become Cl2. So you got Cl2 formation on the right hand side. Okay, so let's see what happens. So at cathro at cathro okay you got H plus and then become hydrogen while at NO okay you got Cl minus to become Cl2 plus two electrons when you combine the equations you have two H plus two Cl minus become H2 and Cl2 so this time you can check the coefficient as well okay because these two are gases all of them are gas so if you remember just now we mentioned uh, the mole ratio equals to volume ratio of gas so right here h2 to co2 ratio it will be one to one so therefore the volume ratio the volume of volume of h2 to volume of old CO2 will also be one to one. This is what we expect, okay? When we draw, okay, we will expect to draw something like this, okay? So H2, CO2, it will be one to one. However, there is a problem. We know that, okay, H2 is a, ah, uh, CO2, sorry, CO2 is a acidic gas. So therefore, it will be very likely to redissolve into the solution. So if some of the CO2 get back to the solutions, then the gas occupy this volume will then be less. So therefore this level will move up. Okay? So the volume of CO2 key points. Or okay, volume of CO2 collected will be less than expected because some CL2 will redissolve into the solution. Okay, so this part, okay, is a key point, okay, always ours in the public exam, okay, do remember, jot it down and memorize it, okay, so the key point goes to, will be less than expected, okay, and because of the gas will redissolve in this solution. Okay, so uh, right now, okay, we learned that uh, for the H2O2, we expect to see that uh, the this one is the A, so this one is the cathro one, okay, we have hydrogen, okay, we have H2O, 
where you got 2H2 O2. So hydrogen we got 2, O2 we got 1. So therefore you collect more hydrogen and less O2. Okay. While the one in corn NaCl will expect to be 1 to 1 ratio. However, some of the Cl2 will then redissolve. Okay. So remember HCl you could separate into H2, CO2, which is 1 to 1. Okay, however, some of them redissolve. So, therefore, if this one is get through, this one is NO, right? So, this one is CO2. Okay, then H2 will be slightly more than the CO2. H2 will be slightly more than the CO2. Okay, don't try to draw this one to 2 to 1 ratios. Okay, remember, roughly will be 1 to 1. Okay, but CO2 will be slightly lead to. Okay, so that's all for this video. Bye-bye.